Well, good afternoon, Facebook group. I hope everyone had a good weekend, social distancing, washing your hands, and, uh, and listening to the experts. And uh, as we slowly start to open up, I know here in Greater Vancouver, we're into that next phase of opening up, uh, you know, uh, various businesses and institutions. So I hope wherever you are, things are moving along and slowly, slowly getting into the right uh, frame of mind for everyone. So what I want to chat with all of you today, hey Sandra, hope you're doing well. But I wanted to chat with all of you something that I read today that I think will bring some value to all of you because uh, I need this, this information. I need this advice, perhaps more than most people. So here we go. Nelson Mandela was asked some time ago before his passing, how to become a good leader, how to become a good leader. And uh, what he shared with this person that interviewed him was that when he was growing up, his father taught him that anytime you're in a meeting, in a group environment, surrounded about people, always let everyone in that meeting or in that group conversation talk. Let them have their say. Let everyone exhaust their thoughts on whatever's going on and then share your thoughts. Be the very last one to share your thoughts. Hey, Sonia, but do all the listening. Let everyone else share their thoughts on what's going on and listen and listen. Boy, can I ever work on doing listening for myself. Number one, take away from that. Tell me if you agree. We do not listen enough today. We don't listen enough today. I'm the number one culprit when it comes to that. We are so anxious in conversations with our loved ones and family and in business that I can speak for myself or I'll share with you, do you listen enough in your daily conversations one-on-one uh, -on -one or in a group setting? I know I don't. So we need to listen more rather than ready, ready to pounce in or when someone shares something that you know perhaps is incorrect or not to what you believe to, to jump in. Refrain from that. Number two, we interrupt each other in conversations. And again, guilty here. Let the other person share what they have to share. Even if it's something that you know you have an answer to or is incorrect, as Nelson Mandela shared, let the other person across from you or in that group setting finish their thoughts. And I've got to work on that myself. Let them express themselves, giving them even that pregnant pause, as they say, to, to complete their thought. Not ready when there's a little bit of a gap to jump in. And I won't say attack, but right away, give your version, your understanding, your thought, your reasoning. And number three, we should speak. Uh, we speak when we shouldn't. That's what it said. We should speak when we shouldn't. And often the times, you know, learn to read conversations and learn to listen to people. So the challenge he put out to people, and I'm putting out to myself, maybe for yourself as well, <clears throat> excuse me, is to challenge to be the last one to speak. Try that this week as you go into your conversations, especially with your family and loved ones and those you care about, Challenge yourself to be the very last one to speak. Let me know how that goes. I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult for people like me out there. But let people voice their opinion. Let people complete their thoughts. Listen more. Don't interrupt other people in conversations. And don't speak out of turn. I think that will serve you and I very well going forward. As Nelson Mandela was asked how to become a better leader be the last one to speak. Listen more, gather all that's being said, and then deliver what you have to say at the right appropriate time. Hope you got some value, Sonia. Hope the family's doing well. We'll chat with all of you real soon. Bye-bye.